rail that's a right hand thread and you're going the right way. I am. <laughs> I am. It's going in, so I must be doing the right thing now. These are quite interesting, these studs. Um, Peter discovered that when he pulled it apart. Yeah, I did. I was amazed. Yeah, they, yeah just the way they all go together. It's a, quite different to anything else. But um, we're just going to wind these down. Uh, we take them all the way down, Pete, until they're firm. Is that what we do? Is that what we do? I wonder whether um, we'd be better with that magneto out of the way. Um, Probably would be, wouldn't we? Maybe, if it's easy to get off. Oh, I can be doing that one, yeah. All right. Okay. So we're just going to put a piston cylinder on this. And we get to get organised. It's a pretty tricky method, this, actually, to, the way those are done. Mm. That's a great setup. That's the way that comes on and off, the magneto. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's probably still got some work to do on it. It's um, whether I put a little bit of a pad under here of some sort to, okay. just to tighten it up. Got them all lined up. Yeah, Line <laughs> up the <Yeah>. grooves. <laughs> all the slots. <laughs> Now that's got circlips in there, hasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. A bit of a big one here, eh? Might be easier said than done, can we? Get them out with. Just see it now. Just see it now. Something real poor, this piston array of. Just going to have faith in this. Do you want to tell us what sort of piston this is? Right, uh, this is a one piston out of 750 Triumph Twin. Yep. 74mm. Um, B31 pistons are a bit hard to find. Um, but these Triumph pistons are good quality pistons. Yeah. And you can bore them to a reasonably good tolerance. And uh, it gives you a few more CCs as well. Yeah, okay. And there's plenty of meat in the B31 barrel to bore a bit. So what do you think it'll be out to now? 375. 375, okay. Yeah. yeah. The strokes the same? Strokes the same. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just yeah, get that a bit further. How does that fit? Compression. Compression. About 10 <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got any shed rags. You haven't got any shed rags? No, wear them all. So... and it's got to come around that way. Mm -hmm. Hang on, before we do any more, I'll put some glasses on as well. Mm -hmm. So, this one's here, we'll do it. All right, I'm just getting the oil right on top of the piston there, too. Hey! <laughs> Rightio, Uncle, sit on there. Okay, you're sitting on the. Where's my screwdriver? I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get the back there. Alright. Hang on, I know we're there. Just can you just wriggle it a little? It must be close. Oh, there which goes. goes one ring, one down. Beautiful. One there. I don't know how they got them in on the 650 dryer. Oh, I did on my own. I know, but the, the last bike you did the engine. 
<laughs> Hang on, there's something not quite right there, mate. Just go up a bit. Gonna, if you go up, it'll pop out. That's the, yeah. the other one will pop out. Yeah, we want a bit of an angle. I need to go that way. Yeah, that's that's better. I want a bit of an angle. Something's happening. Yeah. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody, let's bring Hagen's back.